Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to talk about investing principles. Most importantly, the power of waiting, aka doing nothing, and opportunity cost. Now, these two concepts are very important to understand, and you can apply them throughout your entire life of investing. You ultimately make money when you wait. So with this upcoming recession, you have to view every expense through the lens of opportunity cost. So let's just say you're going to spend a thousand pounds on something. Let's just say a new laptop. Now, I would put a present value on that thousand pounds or dollars at 3000. Why? Because it's likely that if you invest into the right companies, at the right time during the recession, you are going to, over a short period of time, two to three X or five X your money. As such, I am now looking at every expense I make in any way as three times the cost. So if something is 10 pounds, it's 30. If something is, well, let's say in dollars, a thousand dollars, it's 3000. If it's $10,000, it's 30,000. So let's go through a few quick clips from one from Monish Prabhai, which is one of, uh, he's a he's an investment manager, but he is a disciple of Buffett and Charlie Munger. And we'll go through another video from Buffett and Munger as well. Just turn the volume up. I think the biggest edge would be attitude. You don't make money when you buy stocks and you don't make money when you sell stocks you make money by waiting. And uh, so the biggest, uh, the single biggest advantage a value investor has is not IQ, it's patience and waiting, waiting for the right pitch and waiting for many years for the right pitch. All investment managers' miseries stem from their inability to sit alone in a room and do nothing. You know. So on this, this is a very important concept. Most people like to stay active with what they do. Um, especially investing. The problem with activity is there's transaction costs, there is taxes, and if you don't have to pay the taxes on cap gains, you are increasing the risk of making mistakes. So if we are investors, not traders, it makes sense that we make very little decisions and we do nothing in between, literally nothing. Now this is very difficult for people to understand because they have been trained through their life to be little slaves little slaves to the system and they must always be working they must always be doing something they must always be working hard and that is a mental disease you do not need to do that most of your gains will come from doing literally nothing because the stock is going up you're not working for that you just made some smart decisions and you held through the bad times so as he explains here you make the money from waiting this concept is very, very important to grasp. Um, and the next concept, which is linked to this, is opportunity cost. Now let's listen. Text in economics, which is by Mankiw of Harvard. And uh, he says on the, practically the first page that intelligent people make their decisions based on opportunity cost. In other words, it's your alternatives that are competing for the use of your time or money that matter in judging whether you take action or not. And of course those vary greatly from time to time and from company to company. And we tend to make all of our financial decisions based on our opportunity costs just as I like they teach in freshman economics. So this is a different way to look through the lens of investing. People look at risk, people look at volatility. You have to look at opportunity cost because every investment you make is you not making an investment in another opportunity that could be better. So you have to look at your investments through that lens. Now, I would argue that in our current time, the opportunity that lays out for us in the future is buying things at a ridiculous discount to present value. As such, 
every possible expense or investment we make at this time, we are making the trade-off of that opportunity. Now, if we can find an opportunity that is better than that, then that makes sense. This is a very simple concept, but it is very difficult to apply and to change your way of thinking. Try to, moving forward, think of all your investments through the lens of opportunity cost. And as such, as we've talked about the power of waiting, you will find the right investments at the right time by sitting down and waiting and doing nothing. And when it's the right time to go to work, you'll make the investments, you'll swing hard, concentrate, and then go back to doing nothing. And through those very simple approaches, you will be most investors out there. Now, if you want a more simple approach, you can look at the indexes, etc., etc. But those also can be applied through this lens. You can look at the NASDAQ, which has outperformed the S&P, and you could buy that when it's down another 50% from now, which is very possible based on current macro events and where we're going with interest rates and quantitative tightening. It's very possible that you're going to be able to buy things at 50 cents on the dollar and then go back to doing nothing. We will see how this plays out over the coming four to five years and we'll be able to look back at this video and see how right or wrong I was. I'm expecting the former, not the latter. And um, thank you for watching. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe below and I will see you on the next video.